Police need help solving a vandalism case that happened during a pro-Palestine event. The group gathered near a Phoenix synagogue, and when they got back to their cars, more than a dozen were damaged. Fox 10's Kenzie Beach is live with more tonight. Kenzie. Yeah, Brian, this all stems from a January 28th protest, and police say the damage is costing upwards of $100,000. Phoenix resident Bill Whitmire was a part of that protest. It was a nonviolent protest. Some people may not like what we have to say. Some people not, may not like it, but the protest was uh, designed to educate and also agitate because we feel like we need to let people know what's going on in Palestine. Those in support of the Arizona Palestine Solidarity Alliance organized a protest outside of the Congregation Beth Israel fundraiser on Sunday, January 28th. The group of protesters parked in a nearby neighborhood along 55th place in Shea Boulevard. A number of folks, I think maybe like 15 or 20, found that their cars had been keyed with some, some very horrible things, certain things that I can't even repeat. Mm -hmm. Police say three suspects, two males and one female, are responsible for the vandalism. And that's not how you express yourself with, with hate. You express yourself by educating and, and agitating, but you don't you know, say hateful things to people and do hateful things. The suspects are believed to be driving a 2019 Audi e-tron with an alternative fuel plate. Silent Witness is now offering a $1,000 reward for any information on those three individuals that are suspected of this vandalism. If you want to remain anonymous, you can call Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. Live in Phoenix, Kenzie Beach, Fox 10 News. All right, thank you, Kenzie. More